hello students now we are going to discuss the fitting of a second degree parabola y equal to a plus bx plus cx square so in the last video we discussed fitting of a straight line y equal to a plus bx okay now to fit a second degree parabola we apply the least square method so by that the normal equations are summation here we get three normal equations the one is summation y equal to na plus b into summation x plus c into summation x square second equation is summation x y equal to a into summation x plus b into summation x square plus c into summation x cube third equation is summation x square y equal to a into summation x square plus b into summation x cube plus c into summation x raised to 4 this is these are the normal equations for fitting the second degree parabola y equal to a plus bx plus cx square and these are the, again the same normal equations with the interchanging like a is multiplied by here x square summation x square b is multiplied by summation x and c is multiplied by n and this sum, second equation summation xy a is multiplied by summation x cube b is multiplied by summation x square and c is multiplied by summation x <coughs> third equation summation x, x square y equal to a is here multiplied by summation x raised to 4 b is multiplied by summation x cube plus c is multiplied by summation x square ok so th these are the differences when we have a equation like y equal to a plus bx plus cx square and this is y equal to ax square plus bx plus c ok so remember these normal equations with the help of the normal equations we are going to find the values of the constants a b and c then substitution of these values in this equation we get the required second degree parabola ok now the procedure is find the values of summation x summation y summation x y summation x square y summation x square summation x cube summation x raised to 4 so all these summations we find by forming the table then substitute these values of the summations in the normal equations and solve those equations for a b and c then substitute these values of a b and c in the given equation we get a required second degree parabola y equal to a plus bx plus cx cx square or y equal to ax square plus bx plus c okay this is the procedure now we try one problem yes so this is the one simple example fit a second degree parabola y equal to a plus bx plus cx square for the data so the values of x are given as 0 1 2 3 4 and the values of y are given 1 1.8 1.3 2.5 now the normal equations are for the second degree parabola y equal to a plus bx plus cx square summation y equal to n a plus b into summation x plus c into summation x square summation x y equal to a into summation x plus b into summation x square plus c into summation x cube third equation summation x square y equal to a into summation x square plus b into summation x cube plus c into summation x raised to 4 and here n is 5 now we form the table taking the columns for x y x and y then x into y x square x cube x raised to 4 then x square y <coughs> writing the given values of x and y then multiplying x and y the corresponding value when you multiply then taking the square of the values of x then cube of the values of x then the degree 4 of the values of x we take this then multiplying x square into y x square and this corresponding x square into y right we take the corresponding elements we take the column then we take the summations of all the columns then we substitute all these values in the normal equations okay and this these normal equations we solve using the calculator 
we get the values of the constants a equal to 1.08 b equal to 0.413 c equal to minus 0.021 then substituting these values in the given equation we get a second required second degree parabola now uh, solving the these th three equations so as you we know that uh, technique so that is go to the mode then we get the equation okay we have equation for equation it is given as one then how um, uh, in the three equations how many unknowns three unknowns are there press three now it is showing a1 so a1 means so here okay with this here i substitute see <clears throat> first up a1 is 5 then equal b1 is 10 c1 is 30 then d1 is 8.9 8.9 now it is showing a2 a2 is 10 then press equal b2 is 30 equal then c2 is 100 equal then d2 is 21.1 now a3 so a3 is 30 then press equal b3 is 100 press equal c3 is 354 then d3 is 66.3 okay <coughs> after substituting all these values then finally press equal okay now see the value of x that is the first value as a a x as a a that is 1.08 we have 1.077 if we fix to two decimal places or three okay this i am fixing to three decimal places for f y x we have one press one so i am fixing to three decimal places so 1.077 means it is 1.08 again press equal the value of y means it is a b 0 0.416 okay so this we can make as 0.416 then again press equal the value of c minus 0 0.021 right so this is the way we can calculate with the help of the calculator the values of the constants okay thank you